my channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Elise and this channel is all about getting healthy, happy, climbing kind of Ben Nevis, losing a bit of weight, just creating an ultimate better mind, body, life, you know? I'm just trying to improve everything, shake it up a little bit. And for those that do know me, hi, it's nice to have you back here. I'm really glad you've stopped by. Please drop a comment and say hey. On the 2nd of January, I decided to do a 24 hour fast. It actually ended up being 39 hours in total, which was pretty mad, but yeah, it was definitely an experience. Let's get delved in to what I recorded on the day. Good morning, hi, it's the 2nd of January, 2021, and it's about 10.30 in the morning. I had a nice sleep in today. And today is the day that I do my 24 hour fast. I'm gonna do lots of snippets of filming and take you through the motions with me. I'm hoping that it isn't too difficult. My body definitely feels ready for it because I've filled myself with so much rubbish over the festive season that I just need to start getting on track now. to three in the afternoon i've just gotten ready the 24 hour fast so far is definitely uh going I, I think quite well i'm not really craving as much as what i thought would be by mid-afternoon we're just in tesco's at the moment doing some shopping and it's hit me i'm really hungry and i'm i'm angry about it um so yeah that's, that's where i'm at right now I'm checking in, it is quarter to seven on the night and I've still not eaten anything. I've had about four glasses of water. I've just cleaned my bedroom and I think I'm gonna have a bubble bath to try and distract me. I'm doing all right, I'm not having any meltdowns. I'm, my tummy's definitely being very noisy now though. <laughs> still haven't had a bath. I've just made myself a cup of tea. I'm not a hot drink drinker really. I do like the odd hot chocolate, but I don't really drink tea and coffee. So I'm having a tea. Here's my observation so far. I'm feeling very tired and sleepy. Um, smells are triggering me the most by far. So like my family are having jacket potatoes with tea and I could smell the jacket potatoes and I'm like, oh my God, I just wanna eat that. It, it's really interesting that smells have triggered me that much. I didn't realize that smell had that much to play in my hunger feeling. It's like now I'm upstairs and I don't, I'm not surrounded by the smell. I'm not really that hungry. I'm definitely having cravings of foods. And I think that's mainly to do with the uh, the way that I've eaten the last few like weeks. Because I've been eating whatever I want and having loads of treaty food, um, I'm definitely feeling that like food addiction coming back again. Mm. For someone who doesn't drink tea, I'm really appreciating this tea. Fresh out the bath and it's fair to say that I am flipping, feeling weak. I'm really feeling weak now. I'm feeling like, oh my God, I just need to eat something. I'm feeling really tired. I'm feeling really like, Ugh. I'm gonna have another tea in a minute and hope that that helps. It's 20 to 10 and I'm doing good. This is a little bit triggering. I'm not gonna lie. I've got some sun bites sat here <laughs> and I'm thinking <laughs> I want to eat them, but I'm not going to. Um, I just wanted to pop on here and show you my new um, accessory in the fish tank. I went to the garden centre and I got this beautiful tree for the fish tank today and I've re kind of jiggied it up and the fish are just all like playing around and stuff. Here's Eugene, he's my favourite but don't tell the others. Hey, 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 calling straight from my bed at 11 o'clock at night and I'm in bed about to watch RuPaul's Drag Race season 4. 13, am I right? Season 13, I was right, I was right, it's season 13. Summing up my day, it's not been as hard as what I thought it would be. I've experienced several like bursts of craving and energy dullness. So like I've been feeling quite dull throughout the day. I am noticing that I'm struggling to think. So like I keep going into little daydreams and struggling to listen and like think properly. But yeah, overall, uh, there has been a few struggles, but I've not found it that difficult. Wow, what a morning look. <laughs> Just woken up, it's 11 o'clock. I've slept in late, which I'm actually quite happy about. Because it's a Sunday, why do you need to get up early on a Sunday? And I was having a great dream about being a street dancer. Sorry about my hair, guys. My night experience was fine. I didn't wake up hungry or anything. I woke up and I needed the toilet a few times because I'd been drinking so much yesterday. Um, but other than that, it was absolutely fine. Um, I've really surprised myself with the full experience, if I'm completely honest. It's fair to say that I am ready to eat, although I'm actually surprised myself with how like unhungry I am. Like I'm not like begging for food. I think it's a really cool test to see how your body actually responds to stuff. Like 
see if you are actually as hungry as what you'd think you would be after like 38 hours of not eating. I've actually done a 39 hour fast because it just took me like an hour to prepare my food. It's now one o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm just having a nice tuna salad, sweet corn, peppers, cucumber, lettuce, a bit of cottage cheese, a bit of coleslaw and three boiled eggs. And then if I'm still hungry, which I think I might be, I've made myself some apple and peanut butter as a snack. Yeah, it was definitely an experience. I think looking back at it, I would probably maybe start the fast a lot earlier on the evening. So if I started it after my tea at like seven o'clock on an evening, then by the, by the time the 24 hours was up, I'd be able to eat on that day. <laughs> Whereas what I did was I didn't start my fast until 10 o'clock on the evening. So then after my 24 hours, it was bedtime. So I wasn't gonna end up eating at that time. It was an up and down day really, but yeah, it was definitely an experience. It is meant to have great health benefits. Um, not necessarily for weight loss, as you probably think it would, but more for like energy levels and it's meant to, meant to be like a full body detox. Moving on, I am still making slip ups since Christmas. I've still got loads of snacks and chocolates and stuff and I still keep finding myself eating more than what I should be doing. I'm just feeling really frustrated with how much junk food I'm filling my body with. If you're from England, you will know. If you're not from England, you might not know, but we've just gone into our second national lockdown. Ah, it's definitely becoming a bit testing. I think everybody in England is feeling very tired of the lockdown stuff. And we just want normality back now. But yeah, it's meant to be a six week lockdown. So I'm gonna see this as the perfect time for me to sort of get fit, get healthy and start looking after myself mind body and soul i do have some news for everybody i had a job interview for a shop called super drug super drug is like an english shop full of like skincare products health products beauty products and i got the job Finally! i know most of you will know that i've been hunting for a job for ages now so it was really good to finally get a job however i can't actually start it until the lockdown finishes which is so annoying but it's still great news, I'm really happy and I just can't wait to start to be honest. So I'm going to use the next few weeks really well because it's the last few weeks that I'll have fully free. I'm going to try and really just get lots of exercise in there, lots of nutritional foods in there and just really work on my mind and where I'm at. These are the multivitamins I've decided to start taking, they're for women specifically, they're for ladies under 50 and they have loads of great benefits. So I'm really excited to get back on it starting from today and next week should be it fully cram packed video vlog full of all of the things that i get up to i better actually do it because i'm so bad for saying next week's going to be this video and then i don't actually end up doing it i'm not going to be lazy with my vlogs anymore i've got into a habit of just sitting at the camera and talking and then showing little snippets whereas before i was doing like full vlogs i was always filming because i was always doing good stuff i'm setting myself a challenge over the next six weeks to see how hard i can push myself and hopefully watch all of the improvements that come with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, drop a comment, say hello. I love talking to everybody and I get endless amounts of support. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the video. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay funky fresh and don't forget to stay groovy. If you forget to stay groovy then, well, I hate to, I hate to tell you this. We're not gonna be friends. Jokes, <laughs> we're always gonna be friends, but stay groovy for real, stay groovy. Right, see ya, bye. Is it too hard for us to ask for